Hey, got the DS2 back out here. Gonna talk some more about this Target ID, except this time we're looking at DS Mono. So, what I'm gonna do, now remember, you don't have a normalized setting on DS Mono on this machine. DS1 offers a normalized BDI setting, okay? So what I'm gonna do here to make this real simple, we're gonna look at a nickel. I've got a dime here I'm going to put up on this box. I'm at 4 kilohertz right now. I'm going to sweep this nickel and call this ID out for you. Sixty-three. Okay. We're going to stop at a few places here. Here's 13 kilohertz. Sixty-four. Twenty-five kilohertz. 65, 40.4 kilohertz, 67, okay, we'll just work our way back down with this dime here, clad dime at 40.4 kilohertz, 96, here's 25 kilohertz, 93, 17 kilohertz, 91, 13 kilohertz, 92, 7.5 kilohertz, 91, 4 kilohertz, 91, back up here and look at 17 kilohertz again 91 and if I dial as far as I can with this thing 45 point 45 kilohertz 95 on that dime 96 it's a weak signal got to get close to the call Okay, so if you decide to use mono on this machine and you have auto scan set, you know, it'll stay in the band that you've got selected, but it could affect your ID of your targets, okay? Just remember that. I hope you enjoyed the video.